Uh, I, I, unfortunately, um, I didn't get to listen to my buddy Parsons uh, talk about how the how the minis are going to spank us, but um, you know I think they might have another thing coming. Well, he didn't, he didn't go that deep into detail. He might be a little scared. Well, I think so, I think. Did, did you hear any of his interview? Well, I think he called it a buggy, and um, it's uh, it's as much as a uh, as a truck as those uh, those BMWs are a, a BMW. Yeah. Now, one of the things he said is obviously, you know, uh, uh, such a driving talent and stuff like that, but you talk about a team like, like theirs, they were relating it to where they have uh, eight cars and all the support that goes with it, and the two cars uh, on your team, and I'd like to hear from you how you relate to that. Well, you know, like, like you said, eight versus two. Um, man, that sounds like a, like, a, like a bad night in the city, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> but then again, you know... Um, Two years ago, uh, we beat all the BMWs, and um, there's no reason that we um, that we can't do it again. You know, the Volkswagens were, were far superior to everything out there. Uh, they they were they were the class of the field. Obviously, um, Mini was uh, was fast last year, um, and you know they had they had trouble. We had we had a wheel bearing. We had trouble. Um, you know, this race is is going to be a different race, I believe, without Volkswagen being there. Well, I think you know it came down to um, to you know a full-blown factory program where um, you know I don't I don't know if they had a budget um, because we would never we could never see it from our side that they did. Uh, it was anything you could ever dream of they could make, and um, those things were were impressive, you know. But um, if you look at where where we where we were um, this year at the Baja 500 with the Hummer, um, you know I think we got beat. 14 minutes, 13 minutes, or something like that. And a couple of years ago, the Torres came to the Baja 500 and got beat an hour. So I think we've closed the gap quite a bit. Uh, and that's that's really the only thing we have to judge on. And you know, when we come back for um, for the Dakar, you know, the BMWs have been racing and doing their thing over there. Uh, we've been doing our Baja stuff over here. And you know, the biggest thing, um, you know, we're just two different, completely different vehicles. You know, I heard um, I heard Joe talking about the um, the Volkswagens being flat in the front. Well, our Touregs are about as flat as the Volk or our Hummers are about as flat in the front as a Toureg now. Uh, we modified those things quite a bit um, since since people have seen them. For that reason. For the Dunes, uh, we feel that the Dunes is is going to be our strong point. Um, you know, four wheel drive obviously helps. I think BMW probably has. Um, Going on the pa in the past, they were probably the fastest car, uh, but we've worked hard on our engines, uh, worked hard on our drivetrain, worked a lot on our tire inflation. Uh, we've got thousands of miles on it now without any issues, and um, you know we just got to we just got to dot all our eyes and cross all our T's. But it's it's going to be a different race, I think. Um, you know, with with um, with Nasser starting first on the road, uh, that's going to help us. I think the first stage is a, is a beach special. Um, you know, it doesn't mean a lot in the whole big scheme of the rally, but if you can stay first on the road, we, we see what that is in Baja, how, what an advantage um, being that first car on the road is. It's, it's hard to beat that. Hey, uh, Robbie. Uh, hey, Robbie. Hi, Damien. How are you? Hey, how you doing? It's been a long time since I talked to you. It has been a while. It has. You want to say something, and, and you finished pretty high. What do you think it's going to take you to finally break through and, and actually win? What did you maybe learn from some of those races where you didn't have the best of luck that can help you break through? You know, I think the, the things that we've been working on the most is um, is what it takes to keep our people fresh, um, and that's that's the sub assemblies and the, um, the the behind the scenes preparation. You know, our big uh, our big Freightliner trucks that we have now. Uh, this will be the third rally that they're on. Um, the creature comforts of those things, the tools the guys have to work with. And not only the tools they have to work with, but all the parts that were um, pre-assembled prior to the rally. You know, when you when you look at, um, I watched a guy just the other day. Normally, we, we do all of our hub preparation, you know, at the rally. We've 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 got some new parts and pieces now where we can pre-assemble these things and plug and play. Basically, take a, a drive shaft or an axle change from, you know, an hour and a half job down to probably a 15-minute job. 
and um, wow. you know all the, all those types of things will will save us a lot of work. Plus, you know, changing things on our car so that we don't beat things up as bad. Um, you know, the exhaust, where the exhaust is located, how it drug in the sand dunes, what the what not only the front approach angle is, but what the rear approach angle is. Tires, you know, I can't say enough about Toyota. They make uh, they make the best tire in off road racing by far. Um, I know we have the most grip level on gravel roads. I think we're um, we're equally or better uh, packaged in the dunes with our with our lobby terrain that we have. Uh, you put that with the tire inflation stuff that we have. Uh, I think uh, I think the tires are are very very good and they continue to make them better as well. drive Hummer, but obviously everybody knows that Hummer is known to have, you know, amazing four-wheel drive traction and ability. Why are you switching up or, or going with the two-wheel drive? Is it just the ability and uh, less maintenance, or what is it? There, there's a lot of things, um, and, you know, it, it's it'll turn into a conversation that'll, that'll go on for, for a long time, but with a two-wheel... Ten words or less. <laughs> ten words or less, two-wheel drive, you're allowed to run a 37-inch tall tire. Four-wheel drive, you have to run a 31-inch tall tire about six inches wide. It might be seven inches wide. If you look wow. at the square inches of rubber that we have compared to a two-wheel drive, that's an, adva an advantage. Not only in the sand, it's an advantage on the gravel roads. But what we don't have is we don't have the front tires pulling the vehicle around the corner. So, you know, it's just a different philosophy. Two-wheel drives are allowed to have air inflation. Four-wheel drives are not allowed to have air inflation. You've got to get out, let the air out of your tires, air the tires back up, and then go again. So there's a lot of different variables. And with, with our budget, it comes down to, to purely budget. Um, I think with our budget, where we're at today, uh, if you look at trophy trucks, you know, how come no four-wheel drive trophy trucks are setting the, setting the world on fire? Because yep. they don't down there. Um, and I think if we ever have a clean run, uh, down at the Dakar, I think that we would have a legitimate shot, you know, at every special or every stage. And having having a guy that has experience like Nasser and Lucas driving the other car, um, you know, I think we got two shots. Not only not only one with my car. I think that that these guys will be very very strong. Hey, you know, we were talking about this before too. The races, you know, it was moved, and you raced when it was actually going part of the original course of the ad or what, what the race was set up to be. That car. Right. That car, yeah. yeah. But now, now that they... It's actually in the name. <laughs> now, that, uh, now that they moved it, has this race lost any of its maybe mystique or do you still feel that, you know, this is still a really tough challenge? No, no. This is an enhancement. Okay. Um, and and, and it's, it's, it's very hard to explain it, but in Dakar or Africa, yeah, it might be desolate. But people can't afford to buy Toyota tires. They're not going to buy any Speed Energy drinks. They're not going to. Um, they're not going to buy you know Hummers or or Touregs or or any other manufacturer down there. Uh, it's just a different environment altogether. Imagine the start of the rally, and this is this is a fair way and an honest way I can put it. Is like every day is like the Daytona 500. In Argentina, they are fanatic, and Chile and Peru about their racing. It's different than racing here in America. And if you go on to Planet Robbie or Speed Energy, you can look at some of the um, past photos, but there'll be, you know, half a million people to three-quarter million people at the start. Now... And, and Joe, even, Joe even mentioned the spectatorship. Yeah, it's, it's night and day. So business-wise, you know, we're, 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 we're working very hard on bringing Speed, into, um, Speed Energy into South America. So this is good for, for our brand as well. But... It's a, it's, it would be like racing in Southern California. Where we're going to start the rally this year, it would be like starting in Newport Beach on the water and racing to Long Beach. It just doesn't happen with houses and people on the beach watching the race cars go down the beach. It's stuff that we should be doing in America, but everybody's so concerned about everything, we don't do anything here fun in America anymore. Well, yeah, and, and you know, thanks for bringing up Johnny Campbell. I think he's a, a great addition to the team. Uh, his experience, his managerial abilities by running Team Honda's off-road team, he'll be able to help me. I think there's things that Johnny will be able to do to, to help our race team. I think the, the guys that we have uh, slated for the team for this year, I feel really good about. Um, you know, Nasser and Lucas, adding them to the team. These guys have both have won the Dakar Rally before. 
NASA's wanted as a driver. Lucas has wanted as a navigator. So um, I think we, we have a legitimate shot. Uh, the most important thing is for us not to beat ourselves.